After two years of digital only, the Cybos community has gathered again. Almost 10,000 delegates are attending Cybos here in Amsterdam and online. They were warmly welcomed by the chairman of SWIFT, who spoke about how the financial industry has adapted to change. A lot has changed since the last time I was on this stage. The world has undergone unprecedented transformation. Our industry has proven itself to be highly adaptable, demonstrating great resilience under extraordinary pressure. Commissioner Mairead McGuinness spoke about the importance of international cooperation for CBDCs. With the boom in private digital payments, central banks around the world are considering how to respond. And indeed, many are looking into central bank digital currencies. Today, over 100 countries are exploring this area. And that makes international cooperation absolutely essential. Building on the topic of CBDC, SWIFT CEO Javier Perez Tasso talked about the importance of interconnection. We announced the results of uh, groundbreaking experiments in that field that show essentially that CBDC DLT networks can be interlinked and not just with each other all over the world, but also with existing payment systems. Queen Maxima made a call to action to the Cybos community as digital innovation offers great opportunities to support financial inclusion. If we get this right, digital innovation holds tremendous promise for financial inclusion and financial health. So let us please envision that better future, share our experiences and use this conference, ladies and gentlemen, to build a secure, trusted and efficient digital economy that really works for all. One of the great strengths of Cybos is the chance to hear directly from industry leaders. And Bowden, Ravi Manon and Klaus Knott kicked off the inside leadership stream. Not everybody can start an entrepreneurship journey. You know, there's certain times in your career when you can do it. You can do it at your start of your career where you've got nothing to lose or at the end of your career where you, you're brave enough and have the resources. Three countries require three bilateral links, but 20 countries would require 190 bilateral links. So obviously we need a multilateral solution to effectively link up countries' faster payment systems. It's important to realize that banking is commoditized, and that basically means that if you want to make the difference, then banking is not about the banking products, but it's about the experience. And the experience that needs to be easy, relevant, personal, and instant. The, the current combination of very, very high inflation, of sort of reduced economic growth momentum, mm -hmm. plus yeah, financing conditions that are tightening uh, across the globe, we haven't seen that combination actually for, I would say, almost four decades. The first big issue debate of the week asked how the sector is adapting to digital currencies and assets. The question of DeFi versus banks and intermediaries, I actually see this as a dichotomous world. I don't see it as a binary outcome. Given the fact we're nascent in this process, we shouldn't rush to conclusions that one is going to kill the other. Mm -hmm. NFTs are more than just like a very expensive GIF. Uh, there's lots and lots of things you can do with NFTs. I think some of the players in the loyalty space are very interesting, mostly coming from retailers, you know, players like, you know, Nike and others, yeah. where, you know, you buy, buy a shoe and you get the same shoe in NFT form, etc. I think you basically start building loyalty schemes, which will come to financial services. There is plenty more to come here at Cybos today. Lots to do, lots to learn and lots to enjoy. Have a great day.